Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Stranded Deep. My name is Weasel. With me is Wheatley. He's he's hiding back there. And uh, we are on our island. We're doing uh, actually really fine. I mean, we're bleeding. Our health is not the best. But, you know, considering that we survived the plane crash and have been here for four days so far, I think we're pretty, pretty okay. I mean, we killed a shark. How awesome is that? Hey, Timmy. So, uh, yeah, I said we wanted to explore more, and that is still my plan. But for that, I'm gonna... Uh, did I cook that already? That is cooked shark meat fillet. Perfect. Uh, for that, I'm going to empty my inventory a little bit. Things that I'm not going to need. For example, those two rocks. Don't really need those. And... Yeah, I was gonna drop the torch. As much as I like it, I would love to go to another island to get some resources. The only thing I'm gonna need is uh, the compass. That's uh, hopefully going to tell me where we're gonna go. 240. I think I've been there. Let's try it with... This island, this looks like a good one. I, I'm, I'm not sure if I've been there. It's a little bit confusing. I wish there was something more of a, a better way to mark where we've been before. That would really help a lot. And we're just gonna keep going and hopefully find all the awesome things on our way. I hope I'm not bleeding anymore. I'm, I'm still bleeding, okay, yeah. That's probably what the big ga gaping wound on my arm is doing. And until I find a bandage, I'm pretty much gonna have to live with it. So, going back to our island, that is, yeah, exactly, yeah, 310, there we go. That should do the trick. Now we're gonna keep swimming and swimming and swimming along the ocean floor. And I hope I can find some uh, cool items in uh, shipwrecks, like the scuba tank or the flippers. Even though the flippers don't really make you faster, it's cool to have them. The scuba gear, there's a scuba tank. Uh, air tank that you can't find. You can put it in your mouth and you can uh, keep swimming for quite some time. It, you know, empties out after a while. So you want to be careful with that. But that's something I found on stream. Pretty awesome thing. I mean, we can't pretty much reach anything if you're fast enough. You can just stay much longer underwater. If your heart desires so. There's pretty much nothing for us here. What is it with that weird sound? You heard it too, didn't you? I really wonder. Anyway, what does our clock say? Seems fine. Maybe it was my stomach that violently erupted with hunger. Okay, cool. We have a shipwreck right in front of us. I'm not entirely sure if I've been here before. I should probably start to write down the locations where I've been. But yeah, let's hope that there's some neat loot in here. or And that it's not a completely lootless one. Uh, I think, yeah, this is a lootless one. Uh, if you don't see any locker, the chances are... That it's lootless. It's kind of a shame when you find, you know, a ship after a while and it has nothing to offer. Nothing at all. Alright, so this island, I think we've been here. But I, they look very similar, to be completely honest. Actually, this does not look familiar. We need to check out this loot. This looks interesting. What are you? You are a little fishing ship. Little fishing boat. Oh, this is cute. It doesn't have any loot, sadly, but still looks cute. Yeah, I like the look of that. That's a really cool ship. Let's see. Maybe there's something in the belly of the ship. Um, nah, no luck. What about you, big guy? You better have some awesome loot for us. Oh, well, no loot in this one as well. That's a shame. Oh, hey. Hey, this palm seems to have some sort of issue. Can I, can I crawl under the palm? Yes, I can. I'm underneath a palm tree. I'm so awesome. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no. Okay, for a second I thought I was stuck, but no, I'm good. Since we now know how we got to this island by heading 130 degrees, we can actually keep heading to other islands uh, and just follow our way back. And I'm gonna keep going in 130 degrees direction. Oh, it's beeping, probably because my health got low. That might be my blood loss, I don't know. I really gotta keep an eye on that. That I'm not gonna die. But without a bandage, there's nothing I can do and you can't craft bandages yet. Haven't seen a way to do that. Oh, wow. Hey, what happened here? Did I... Is that... Okay, I think this is loot. This is supposed to be loot from a ship, but the ship is not here. That is a new one. <laughs> that is interesting. Okay. Hey, door. I can open and close the door, so that is nice. I'm just assuming that this is the loot from the ships that don't have any loot. It's just uh, waiting here. They don't seem to hold anything, which is a shame. All the things are open, the locker, the cabinets, the hard case. Doesn't, doesn't really help us. Uh, let's keep going. 
Let's keep heading for that island. Uh, so from what I see on my watch right now, it seems that the blood loss is actually not a thing we would want. It's actually, you know, slowly killing us. And there's a shark that is trying to kill us really fast. Let's not do that. Let's let's take the machete. And uh, yeah, I got even weirdly excited. You go away, you nasty guy. Okay. <laughs> I told him, you nasty guy. Oh, I found a little shipwreck. Wonderful. With a box, with a toolbox holding another... X. Okay, I'll take it. All right, it's gonna be nighttime soon, so we wanna make sure that we're prepared. And to do ooh, do that, first we're gonna loot that boat, and then we're going to prepare for nighttime on this island, where we're gonna sleep through the night and swim back early in the morning. That's another little boat. Can I get on it? Yes. There doesn't seem to be anything in here, and it's oh yeah, it's one of the party boats, as I like to call them. But the big problem with these boats actually is, and I don't know if I told you that already, is that you can't up... If you get into them, you have a hard time getting out of them. If they are not underwater. So we might have a chance. So I saved my game real quick, and that's what I would recommend that you do if, before you try to get go into um, the belly of one of these boats. When you see a hatch like this, always make sure to save first, because it might be very well that you might be stuck. Which is not, you know, intentional for the boat. It's just, you know... Weird placement. It spawned at a really weird spot and then you can't get out anymore because there's not water for you to swim out. So in this case, we're going to be... No! Yeah! We're going to be stuck! Ah, uh, no! Actually, no. Made it. Okay, that was... I was worried here for a second, but we made it out. And it's nighttime already. Ugh. Or at least late evening. So let's make ourselves quickly a bed, eat and drink something, and then we'll continue in the next day. Ooh, potato plant. I'll take that. Thank you. They're not super nutritious, but at least, you know, it's a little bit. You guys have some 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 coconuts? Perfect, thank you. And my watch is telling me... Yeah, I'm dying. That's to be expected. We need a few more lashings, and then we can build our bed. Let's throw everything on here. Perfect. And there's my yucca palm that I just harvested. But it's fine again. Yeah, you can harvest that again. That poor plant. All right, so now that we have six sticks, four palm leaves and four ropes, we can build ourselves a nice bed. Put it right here. Let's have a quick look at our stats. Uh, probably shouldn't sleep too long. Mm, let's slice open those delicious coconuts. And there's actually something I want to try before I do that. So if you take a rock and keep smashing on it with whatever, in this case I'm using a machete, which is probably a really bad idea for a real-life machete, you can pick up the rock shards here. And they're pretty much like a knife. Just with the exception that they don't have any durability. So see, I can just smack them pretty much with a rock. So you pretty much have a knife. You can actually chop down a palm tree. No problem with a little stone. So don't worry, you don't even have to craft an axe. You can just use a stone and just chop away at your palm tree. Thanks for letting me know, guys. That's why I love the comment section. And let us drink the coconut. Oh, I clicked sleep. I wanted to drink the coconut. Well... Then let's sleep, that's fine too. Yeah, we're hungry, we're thirsty. No problem, I got this covered. Yeah, my biggest problem I have with sleeping now is, uh, at that state, that I didn't get any health bonus because I was so hungry. That's a little bit annoying. Anyway, let's eat that delicious shark filet. That filled us up completely. Totally worth it. And let's slice open those coconuts. We're gonna take the coconut halves with us, just to keep us in a good condition in terms of hunger. And I think we're golden. Let's go ahead and uh, look around the island if we can find a few more uh, loot places right around it. Some sunken ships. I mean, one would think there would be a lot of, you know, traffic considering so many ships sunk here. You know, one could think there would be more ships just, you know, passing by. But nope. Well, I guess we could head for this island. This one intrigues me for whatever reason. I don't seem to find any more... Uh, loot spots around here, so we're gonna go to 170 degrees now. Alright, so we're f slowly filling up with uh, health a little bit, so you just gotta make sure that you're all filled up with uh, food and uh, drinks. That should really help you in the regeneration process. But other than that, the system is not super clear to me when the health goes down and up, but I imagine that would be a little bit more clear in future updates, and I'm really looking forward to new more content to this game. Ooh, actually... Right in the middle of nowhere, there is a little, oh, a little shipwreck. Let's see. Uh, no, sadly, I don't see any loot. I just see my own blood on the water. 
Whenever I find one of these shipwrecks just in the middle of nowhere, I don't seem to have any luck finding any loot in them. Oh wow, yeah, our health goes up really fast now. While we were swimming over to the island, we've been regenerating uh, four points. And we just gener regenerated another one, so that happens really fast. I thought you would need sleep for that, but nope. As long as you're not hungry and not thirsty, you're gonna regenerate surprisingly fast. All right, I can see a little bubbling on the surface. So let's hope that there's something here. Half a ship shipwreck. Sadly, no loot for the weasel. I don't seem to get too lucky with the loot. I wonder where they're hiding it. Where are you hiding the loot? He knows, but he's not telling. God, I'm already going crazy. I'm starting to talk to crabs. Oh, that's a neat looking rock. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say to this. Uh, so we have many of them islands perfectly surrounding us. You know what? We should climb up a palm tree. Let's make sure. Don't fall down, weasel. Ooh, this is ripe. This has a lot of coconuts. Careful, careful, careful. God. Ah, damn it. Well, I'm still super healed. As long as I didn't break anything. <laughs> but yeah, this island, again, not really rich in loot. I guess it's time for us to head back home and keep building up our island, hopefully eventually finding other human beings that want to hang out with us. So we're gonna bring rocks. All right, so to find your way back after you've been on a few islands and hopefully you've been riding down where you went, you're just gonna go ahead and turn to that direction uh, that you went last to. So 170 and you take 180 off it, which in our case would go down to zero and then 350. And now we're gonna go back to 350 degrees, which is this island. And from there on out, we're gonna do the same with uh, 130 degrees and you will find your way back to where you came from originally. <laughs> hey, shark. <laughs> Why are these ships all completely lootless? No idea. All right, back to our island, 350 degrees. We're not, oh God, no, the shark got me. Ah, no, ah, <laughs> go wait. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I got things to do. I'm incredibly busy. Thank you very much. Didn't really hurt me too much. All right, I'm, I'm so done with you. Could you stop with the attacking? Yeah, let me hit you with my, with the wrong side. That's not how you swing an axe, weasel. Why am I swinging an axe like this? Ah, that's, that, that's much better. Yeah, smack it into your face. Oh, that's always good. Mm, I like this. Yeah, please keep smacking. Uh, we made it back to this island. Ah, yeah, I remember this. We are on the right path, and now for the last thing we need to do is we're just gonna keep following the direction, uh, roughly 300, to this island, which is our home island, hopefully. If it's not, that's gonna be really embarrassing. And we made it back home, yes, wonderful. We are back on our home island with Timmy the Tiger Shark, Wally the Volleyball, and all the other stuff we have so far, and I think it's time that we make ourselves a nice home here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Stranded Deep. If you did, please leave a like and I hope you now have an idea how to navigate with a compass or across different islands and always find your way back. And if you don't have a compass, I wish you best of luck in your endeavors. In any case, I'm Weasel. I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. It is Teen Magazine. Does that look like a Teen Magazine to you? I'll bring some sandwiches for a picnic. I'll bring my puppy. You'll love him. Oh, he loves puppy. I did it! Love sucks. Yeah, man. It's not. Why is it called Seven Days? It should be Seven Stereotypes. Next! Flirt Dream Boy. Flirt Boy Dream. Flirt. Flirt. I don't know. What is this with that polka music? Am I shooting lasers from my deformed olive eyes? I, I'm in school, I guess. Let's, let's put on a facial mask. I don't get this. Done. Oh, I gotta make myself pretty, otherwise he's not gonna look at me. Oh yeah, those eyebrows, those need to go. Hey Timmy, why are you so sad? I'm not sad, I'm just a shark. God, I spent too much time on this island.